Hi, there's another idea for opening a lesson to do with forces. We're going to use uh, an idea involving this crossbow. Uh, you've heard the tale about Hans Christian Andersen, where he had to fire an arrow, bow and arrow, and uh, hit an apple that was on his son's head. So, uh, we've just got this toy crossbow here. Uh, my colleague Lara is going to help us out here. Okay, uh, safety thing. I'm the target, I'm going to be wearing a pair of safety goggles, safety specs would be safe as well, that's fine. Okay, so, yeah, Lara pulls the string back ready and loads the sucko quarrel, brilliant. Uh, I've just got a little wrap of cloth I'm going to put round in a circle, just helps the apple sit on my head. Okay, and... So then, if Lara has a go at shooting the apple off, whenever you're ready. Oh, close. <laughs> I could almost feel it whistle past my head. Do you want one more shot of that? A question for pupils would be, they get in class to think about why you have to aim up. Okay? Because that was almost on a level with the apple. But you had to point it even higher up than that. So there's a question of why. Okay, and then a follow-up would be, if you pull that back. Now I'm going to see, I'm going to challenge Lara to try and hit it. Doesn't matter about necessarily getting it dead on. I'm holding it level with the crossbow this time. Okay? Seeing if you can hit it if I drop it, I'm going to go three, two, one, go. Alright. Three, two, one, go. So that was quite close, just above. All right, let's have one more go of that. Two, one, go. Oh, that's all. So thank you for uh, watching that. I'm going to be running a, a bit of online training about forces on Torque Physics. So if you'd like to join me for that, I'm going to help you to identify the forces involved in dis different situations. It's kind of aimed at key stage three, but it'll help at any stage, kind of from key stage two through to A level. Alright, so I hope you'll join me for that. Thank you.